I spend a few moments on my advocacy for reform of the federal bankruptcy laws. I'm asking for an amendment of the federal BIA to give preferred status for employee benefits over unsecured creditors. <laughs> preferred status for the pension fund deficits and the unpaid severance. I think that our governments have not uh, lost focus on the unpaid severance issue, which I know has been a, a strong position of the union movement as well. I've come to learn also very much about the severe problem in the long-term disability plan area. The health and welfare trusts of Canada are deeply underfunded and in some cases on a complete pay-as-you-go basis. And so I'm asking for a federal bankruptcy law amendment that would put the long-term disabled at a preferred plus status. And the reason I say that is we are learning from our experience in Nortel that the Nortel liquidation will put 400 long-term disabled workers into poverty on the street. And so on that basis, we're saying we need to have companies that have billions of dollars on their balance sheet forced to honor, to put back the money into the health and welfare trusts and to support the continuing income and the, uh, and the medicines of the disabled. The arguments that Bay Street, and remember I'm 30 years in the investment business, I've run uh, investment strategy and research both on the debt side and the equity side. The arguments that the government makes that it's not possible for them to give preferred status to employee benefits because it will raise the cost of, of credit just doesn't hold water analytically. The impact of a preferred status in bankruptcy is minuscule. Less than 0.02% in the investment grade market and less than 11 base points in the junk bond market. I've done a lot of research reviewing the OECD, the World Bank, and other sources. Canada is the lagging country in pension policy as it relates to bankruptcy law. Out of 53 countries covered in studies by the OECD and the World Bank, 34 of those countries have preferred status or super priority. We are in the minority by not having that. And we stand with uh, countries such as Portugal, Cyprus, Egypt, Lithuania, Singapore, South Africa, Bulgaria. These are not the major G8 countries. We are in a category of countries that is uh, amongst the uh, third world and emerging economies. This is not where our country should be as a country that has indicated it's proud about its social security net. Not doing anything about the credit default swap problem, not giving preferred status or a public insurance benefit guarantee plan is that this is a country that is not protecting its public purse. It's allowing credit default swap signals in the economy to cause pension losses of up to 30%, to cause unpaid severance, to cause long-term disabled to go down by 70% in their income and put them out on the street. This is totally unacceptable for Canada, who prides itself in having a strong social security net. A survey done by Compass has indicated that the CEOs of Canada support preferred status and protection of pensions for the workers of Canada. So who is it that's opposed to it if the CEOs think that that should be protected? And I strongly support the labor movement and its continuing advocacy to improve the retirement security of Canadians and to ensure that the long-term disability pensions are secure. Thank you.